decimals, let's have a look at ordering them from smallest to biggest and biggest to smallest. OK, let's order the decimals. Right, there's our numbers. Now, step one, we need to line up the decimal points into a column. There we go. And if there are any gaps, add a zero so you can do the sums properly. Now, let's look at the first line and we're looking for the smallest number, which is a four. So this is going to be our first decimal in the line, 4.43. Then we've got three lots of five, so we need to look in the next column for the smallest number, which is a zero, so that's 5.03. Then after that, 5.30, and the biggest number, 5.35. Let's have a look from small to big. So there's our numbers, and we've got them with pound signs this time. So step one, line up the decimals. As you can see, 0 0.25 will be first. And then we look down the column and there's three ones. So we need to look next door, see what's the smallest. And that's a zero, 1.04. Then we've got two twos, but we've already used one of them. So that means our next number is 1.22. And then to finish, 1.72 and add the pound sign for your answer. Now we're going to look at descending, which is going down from biggest to smallest. We can see straight away 10.25, that's the biggest one. Then as we look down our columns, we've got three number nines, so we need to look in the next column. Now we've got two number threes, so then we need to go to the last column to see the biggest number, which is 9.34. So after that, Yes, it'll be 9.30 and to end 9.04. Don't forget to add the pound sign. Now let's recap. Step one, line up the decimal. Step two, add the zero. And step three, compare the columns from the left to the right. And remember, we use words like greatest, least, smallest, biggest, and ascending and descending order. Thank you.